I have a really awesome update for SiteCrafter, which is going to further enhance your web design process in DV5. So for those of you that don't know what SiteCrafter is, it's a framework for DV4 and DV5. It allows you to design websites that are consistent and also scalable. And the end result is obviously going to be a professional looking website. Now let's do a quick recap. So here, we have our font here on the bottom. So the main takeaway or the main feature, and this alone is huge. If you install SiteCrafter on your DV5 website or your DV4 website, you are going to be able to have fluid typography. So there's no need to, for you to go in and start entering specific sizes for your font throughout your website. That's a waste of time. You're going to have inconsistencies. And most importantly, it's going to be so confusing after, let's say, a month, you come back to the website and you're trying to find out where things are. So the solution to that is fluid typography. Let me show you how it works. So here I have my normal text. So when you first um, add text onto your website, this is what it looks like. So with SiteCrafter now, all you need to do is to select the text module. You come over here to Advanced, and then you click on CSS ID and Classes. And all you have to do is to click on or type in SK. Did you see that? The text now has increased in size and this is 100% fluid. Now, I know you probably don't believe me. Now, let me show you that. So first of all, let's save this. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here and refresh the page and then I'm gonna show you how responsive this is. So this is our text here. So as I'm making the browser smaller and smaller, notice that the text is getting smaller and smaller and as it's getting smaller and smaller, it's the right size, it's got the right line height, and pretty much everything is okay. Now, you don't need to go in and add any text sizes for your headings, for your paragraph text, heading two, heading three, and so on. It's all done for you. Now, this has already saved you a ton of time throughout your web design across your whole website. Okay, so let's start off with uh, the main feature. In fact, before we do that, now over here, we also have other modules. Now, these modules, when you first look at it, it has your text. Now, the reason why it looks like this is just in case you want to add your own specific uh, sizes. I mean, it's up to you. It's non-destructive. So you can always go in and, and add your, um, your own sizes. But if you want to go in and uh, follow the SiteCrafter fluid typography system, then all you need to do again is to select on it like that. And then you come over here to advanced. CSS ID and classes, and all you need to do is to, uh, to add SK. And that is now fluid, and pretty much you don't need to go in and add any sizes. Your paragraph text is all set, your heading text is all set, everything is all done. Again, same applies, you come over here, you select it, you go to, oops, you go to uh, advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then you add SK. Now, do you see that? everything is all right. Now we have a blurb here as well. Same thing. You'd come over here, go to advanced CSS ID and classes, and your blurb now is going to have, you know, sizes or font sizes that are pretty much the same across the whole website. Now, can you go in and readjust these? Absolutely. You can go in and readjust this if you need to. And finally, we have our paragraph text here. Same thing. You'd come over here to uh, advanced and then click on CSS ID and classes and you add your S K. Now, if you want to go in and further adjust this, all you need to do is to click on this gear icon. And let's say you want to um, make this text here, perhaps maybe a uh, heading three. All you need to do is come over here, heading three, and boom, just like that. Now, I mean, you don't need to go in and, uh, and start adjusting your sizes and uh, the line height and so on. Everything is all done for you, which is fantastic. Now, I'm super excited to talk about brand new features that have been added. Now, you probably saw a hint of them uh, over here. This is a brand new addition to SiteCrafter version 5.1.2. All right, so let's start off with uh, the first thing, and that is our sections. So by default, when you add sections onto your website as you're designing, Divi gives you a standard size. OK, now it doesn't even give you what size it is. It's just, your, you know, your standard size. Is it fluid? Is it responsive? No. So if you want to have a really awesome website that looks consistent, you definitely need to have a values that you control. And all these are based on UI best practices. OK, so let's start off with the first one. So let's say 
uh, this here is going to be your main hero section. So what you want to do now is to click on the gear icon, you go to advanced, and then you click on CSS ID and classes. And what you need to type in now is section dash hero. So let's go ahead and do that. So section dash hero. Do you notice that it's gone bigger? Okay, let me just remove the O. Do you see that it's smaller? If I add the O, it gets bigger. So this is fluid and it readjusts as the screen size gets smaller and smaller and it's done proportionally. Next, let's head over to this one here. So let's say maybe this one needs to be a, a large uh, section. So again, you'd come over here to advanced ID classes and this one now becomes section hyphen large. Look at that. So this here is not the same as that. You can see here that our padding is much, much bigger than what we have here on the large. Now, if we continue on, we also have section medium. So, I mean, I guess you, you get the trend here. So for this one here, let's go ahead and set this to small. Okay, section small. So we're going to say section hyphen small. And look at that. So there are times when you're going to need a section that is small. Perhaps you want to add um, some icons across there. You don't need massive white spaces if you're just adding icons there. So this is where you would use this scenario. Now, while we have this here, let's go ahead and save. I'm just going to do a quick preview so you can see that this is also responsive. All right, so I've opened this in a new tab and now I'm just going to drag this and now you can see the sizes there. Now, I know I should have put something inside there so that you can see the spacing. All right, uh, should we do that? Yeah, perhaps let's do that. So you can really see that there is something going on here. So I'm just gonna add a uh, text module like that. And we're gonna do the same here. In fact, let's just do one example. Uh, we might as well go in and make sure that this is SK. All right, so let's go save that. And then over here, I'm just gonna refresh my page. And now let's take a look and see, you see that? Perfect sizing. And our text has equal uh, padding, both at the top and the bottom, looking really awesome. And this one here obviously is the smaller one. So that is one of our features. Now, while we're here on text, you know when you uh, design your website and you want to add text right now you can see this is long this is not advisable when you're designing websites this needs to be 70 characters now this is again best ui practices this is not good for um, visitors to your website to read along the whole uh, line there it's just too stressful for the eye and there's a solution for that. Now, let's go ahead and I'll show you what the solution is. So now, if I go ahead and select this, we come over here, ID and classes. What you need to do now, if you want to make this uh, text readable and you want it to be standalone on your website is just to add sk-content. Just like that. Now, do you see how that is much, much better? It's easier on the eye and it's much easier to read. So just by adding SK content, boom, everything is now good. Okay. So you might be wondering, where am I getting all these shortcuts? Well, uh, they're over here. Now, what I've done as well ahead of time is I've added them here on our presets page so that you can reference them. Or sometimes you can just come over here. It's just highlighted you know, go and paste it. Uh, we also have text align here. So if you want to text align center, you can just highlight that. You copy this and then you just come on to, where are we? Okay, we're here. And then you can just add a space and then you just type in center and your text now is centered on your page. All right, so now that we have this selected, we also have other features which are super exciting. In fact, I need to update this because it doesn't say it shouldn't be text center. It's, it's just supposed to be center, right, left, and justify. Okay. So I'm just going to update that because I just noticed that it didn't work. All right. Now we also have some exciting features and that is Flexbox. Now this is just the beginning of our introduction to Flexbox, but this is super, super exciting. Now let me show you how this works. So let's say you want to add two buttons here. 
So you'd go in, add your section here, and let's add our button module like that. And perhaps we want two, but we want them side by side. Is this achievable in DV? Not really, okay? There will be a lot of work that needs to be done, but the best way to do this is by using Flexbox. So now I want you to see how easy it is to use Flexbox in SiteCrafter framework. All right, so now that we have this, right? So you need to come over here now, click on this gear icon, you go to advanced, and then all you need to do is to go into class here and type in flex. Do you see that? They're now side by side. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? All right. So obviously we need a gap between them. So what we need to do, type in gap. And now we have a gap between them. So if you want them all the way to the left, that's fine. But if you want them centered, guess what? We also have the option here, justify center. So I'm just going to copy that. Now this is, if you obviously don't really know what to type in here. So now I can add a space. It's now centered. Now do you see how awesome that is? I mean, you know what? When I was designing websites before, this used to uh, take me so much time to do. It was just, it was just crazy. All right. Now, let's add something else that's a bit more uh, exciting because we still have more features here. I mean, notice that we have our color utilities here. We also have uh, shadows. Uh, we have our border radius. In fact, let's do um, something with border radius here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add, uh, let's add a blurb. I'm going to come over here and let's choose our blurb like that. And we also want to add an image so that our design just looks, uh, you know, really nice. Or in fact, what we could do is while we have this selected, uh, let me just get myself out of the way here. Uh, let's head over to image and icon and um, let's add an image. So let's say we're going to go with that image right there. Excellent. So while I have that uh, selected, uh, perhaps we want to add a bit of padding uh, around this. I'm going to go to spacing and let's go with four rem okay so we're going to apply this across the whole uh across all the sides like that so left right top bottom okay and uh while we're here we might as well now notice that we our text here is small so i want to fix that by coming over here and adding sk all right so everything looks cool now that's our card so the next thing I need to do now is to add a uh, shadow, okay? So again, if you want to reference uh, what the shadow um, settings are, you just come over here. So there's shadow small, shadow medium, shadow large, and so on. So, okay, I'm back over here. I'm going to say shadow large. All right, so I'm going to type in shadow space large. Now, do you see the shadow there? <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, so while we're here, we also need some. Uh, of rounded corners. Okay, so we're going to say radius large. Or it can be radius small if you want. So we're going to type in radius. Uh, let's go large. So we can really see it. Now, do you see that? Now we have our radius and, you know, it's large. Now I'm just typing my commands in the class area here. So it's CK, shadow large, and then radius large. I mean, do you see that? Isn't that cool? Okay, now at this point, if you want to save this as a preset, you can always come over here to the top and save it as a preset if you're going to be using this over and over again. But as you can see, it is really, really cool uh, to do. All right, so the next thing I want to add here is uh, color utilities, okay? So sometimes you may want to add notices on your website. So let's add our texts here like that. And again, I'm just going to add some uh, border, I mean, some uh, padding around it. So we're going to go to spacing. And again, we're going to go with uh, 4rem. So we have nice spacing, a large spacing around this. Um, of course, we may change this if it's a bit too much. So now with that set, let's head over now to advanced. So remember, I mentioned that you can add your own sizes if you want to. So if you want to do the long way, you'd come over here to design, you go to text, and then you'd go to your text size here. But of course, I mean, if you go, uh, oops, 
if you go for example uh, 20 pixels you know you have to bear in mind that now you have to adjust your line height here uh, increase the line height oops 1.8 for example and this is what we're trying to uh, trying to move away from because as you can see they, they, there's a lot uh, of work that needs to be done I have to go in and make sure uh, it's the right you know line height and, and the right sizes and then I'll have to go into our uh, tablet view to see if the text is okay and so on so to avoid this I mean this is why we're using uh, this framework where we can just come over here straight away and go to our CSS class here and just type in SK and then everything else is done for us now while we're here uh, we can also uh, add um, our backgrounds these are our utility colors so if you want to add some notifications so this one here could be perhaps BG uh, warning how about that so this could be like that so now straight away I have my warning it's all set and it's looking great um, if it's uh, let's say for example uh, success there we go the, the color has changed uh, this one is here is for success and then we can just add a radius uh, a radius uh, large for this and look at that so with this now you notice that it's much easier to uh, maintain our radius across the whole website because if I'm going to be using radius large for this then across the whole website is going to be radius large making sure I have my consistency okay so now you're probably asking so how much is this am I going to pay extra if I've already purchased um, Sitecrafter well this is just an update is going to be available tomorrow so for those of you that bought Sitecrafter this is going to be available for you tomorrow uh, I'll send an email out and I'll show you where to download it as well for those of you that haven't purchased Sitecrafter yet there is a Black Friday offer go ahead check it out the link to that will be in the video description below this is the best way to design consistent scalable websites using Divi and this is the only framework uh, that I know that's out there for Divi that can achieve this kind of um, result in a web design all right guys go ahead check it out the link to that is in the video description below like I say there's a Black Friday offer uh, get that while um, while it's still available this is the best web design process designing websites with Divi. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.